What is up you guys? It is your girl Casey. I am back with another video and I'm super excited to be back as always. You guys, I am super excited because today we are having a YouTube birthday party because it is your girl birthday, period, 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 your girl just turned 29 and it feels amazing and don't even feel like i'm 29 i literally feel like i'm turning 21 or 22 all over again but i'm super excited i have balloons blown up i got food i got cupcakes i wasn't able to vlog anything as far as decorations and all that stuff that i posted on instagram so if you guys follow me on instagram you probably already seen your girl party was lit. We was turning up. We had dancers, we had bottles, we had cupcakes, music, hookah. It was just so much fun and I enjoyed it. I really appreciate everybody that did come out. I have a ton of cupcakes left over. So I have some for you guys if you wanna eat some with me. So I'm gonna eat some cupcakes. I also have some Taco Bell and everything just behind me. So we're gonna get right into the video and get started with the party. Let's have a YouTube party. Ew. This is a soft taco and then I also got two hard shell tacos and some hot sauce so you know you're gonna have some hot sauce on her tacos because it'd be lit not sure what the heck this is but it ended up being pink so i was super excited about it and i had already drank some but if you guys want some cheers to 29 cheers to a new year a new chapter a new me i want to get into this food because your girl is hungry so usually i don't eat with like lip gloss or anything on my lips but i might have to eat it like this let me see let me see, cause I always have to take my lip gloss off like all the time. I just feel like it's not the same when you're like eating food and like your lip gloss and your lipstick get all over your food. It's just, that's nasty to me. It's really disgusting. I don't like to eat my food and then eat my lip gloss and all that stuff. So I'm gonna wipe my lip gloss off on my lips cause your girl hungry and I ain't trying to be hangry. Mm. Mm. I don't even eat Taco Bell like that. This is just something fast for this little YouTube party. Because your girl was hungry. I didn't eat no breakfast this morning. And I was trying to set up for the party. I got a hard shell taco. So I usually always go with hard shell tacos because that's my favorite. But um, I got two hard shell tacos and I wanted to try that soft one. It was really good actually, by the way. So this is the taco here and you got the lettuce and the cheese in it and then the meat is at the bottom y'all i'm making a mess making a mess but this is how it looks mm. this one this one i gotta put hot sauce on it because it'll be a little dry with that um with the hard shell a little crispy and my stomach felt a little bit better because your girl was tired like hangry mm. but um so you guys i had good news and bad news about my party right so what happened was things wasn't done in time and you know what I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk about it and eat. So we are gonna eat and then we are gonna talk. I hate when I have like so much to say, but I'm so hungry that it's like, I can't even talk right now. So I have to finish up these tacos first y'all before we can even get into the story. Mm. Basically, I wasn't even for sure if I wanted to have a birthday party because you know, you guys know, if you watched my last video, I was saying I was so sick. And I was out of it. I wasn't for sure. Plus, I wanted to release this huge project that I was working on. But it was extremely last minute and it didn't get done in time. Not because I wasn't ready or anything. But just because the people that I was working with didn't have things done in a timely manner. And then um, my manager, he just became my manager maybe like one month ago. So when I was telling him I wanted to release that at my party... He was like, are you sure you're ready for that? Are you sure like everything's gonna be in order? Everything's gonna be together? It's kind of like rushed. 
with the project that I was working on, it has to be, you have to take your time with things like that. You just gotta make sure everything is good because if you're gonna release something like that, it gotta be fire. It can't be like no, no quick last minute, put something together real quick. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be like, you really worked hard on that and like you perfected your craft and you did really good with that. I was like, okay, so obviously I'm not gonna be able to release my, my thing that I wanted to release or whatever because of the old person that I was working with. Because I wasn't gonna be able to release that, I was like, well, that was the whole point of me having a big old birthday party because, I mean, obviously I was gonna celebrate my birthday, which is really great, but I could have easily just went out to eat with my homegirls or either just, you know, bought some cupcakes for myself or either just, you know, took pictures, whatever. I would have been fine with that. But because I was gonna release a huge project, I was like, I might as well have a big old party since the attention is gonna be on me anyway, I might as well have that and then release whatever I was gonna release. That didn't happen. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. So my manager, which is my uncle, he got together with his team and they made some things happen where they was like, well, we can release this instead. And I'm like, mm, okay, but he told me that like three, four days before, maybe five days before the party. And like, like I said, the thing that I want to release, basically, it's going to take me some time to like get things, get my thoughts together about what I want to do or how I want to do it. So, it was just a little last minute. And then I wasn't able to work on it by that weekend because I had to work and just a whole bunch of stuff from there. So now the weekend come, which is like that Friday or Thursday, actually. Thursday came and my brother had ended up telling me all the place that he promotes at ended up saying they was gonna close for the whole week. And I'm like, what do you mean they're gonna close for the whole week? And he was like, yeah, they're gonna be closed and um, they're gonna be closed on the day I wanted to have my birthday party. So mind you, I can't release my birthday surprise. And then also I just lost out on my venue. So I'm a little upset at this point. And I'm like, at this point, I don't, I don't even know if I'm having a party because I don't have a location. It was just everybody else that I depended on did not make things happen for me. And not even talking about my manager. My manager was bomb. Like he made everything happen for me. But I'm sorry, as far as the venue, as far as the release, the people that I was working with before my manager, just, I just was a little, and not even a little, I was highly upset about that. So I had canceled the party because I was like, forget it. There's no point in having a party. Like I bought all these balloons and decorations for no reason. Or do a YouTube video, or I guess I'd blow them up and take pictures. So that's what I was thinking in my head. A childhood friend of mine was like, oh, well, you can have a party at um, my brother's place where he promote or he, where he does security at. I told him the details and everything, what I wanted to do and all the balloons that I had to take there. And it was just so crazy, but he ended up securing a spot for me overnight, literally. And I was like, okay, well, I guess party is back on. I was literally about to cry. I'm like, I wanted to have everything perfect, all the balloons, all the stuff. And then plus my party decorator, that I was telling y'all about. Now it wasn't her fault because she had like death in her family and then she had like personal issues that she had to deal with. So I completely understood that, but that just kind of made me a little bit more stressed because it's like now I have to decorate for my own party, try to release my project if I could and try to find a new venue. And I'm doing an invitation and taking the photos for my flyer. I created my flyer myself. You know, you guys watch me take my photos here on YouTube, I edit them and then I posted it out and I shared it to everybody. It was just so much stuff that I was doing by myself and I had zero help. It was crazy. So if anything, I am very proud of myself for doing everything that I did because I just felt like, you know, I didn't have any help. And then when I asked people for help, they were just like sleeping on me or either lollygagging. And I'm like, yo, the party is like literally tomorrow or either next week or the day of. I was actually pretty excited that my, my boss at work I let me take off so that I can have a party. <laughs> That's crazy, right? So earlier that day, I had to run some errands or whatever. And then um, I didn't even have an outfit to wear. That's how, I mean, I wasn't stressed. I wasn't showing that I was dressing, but I was like, I was just trying to be real chill about it. But like on the inside, I probably was like hyperventilating. Like, girl, you don't even have nothing to wear for this party tonight. So I ended up finding this two piece, which I got some like, um, cocoa butter stains or whatever on it from um, moisturizing my body earlier. So I had to find something to wear. I had to go 
dropped the balloons off, the ones that I wanted inflated. I had to drop that off to Party City. Pick it up later on by that evening. I had to go get my cupcakes. I bought like 60 cupcakes. Overall, like I said, I had a really great experience, but I was just trying to stuff all these balloons in different people cars, trying to go there because I blew up. I blew up stuff like this here at my house. And then I was trying to like transport this to the actual place. So I had literally me, my friend, um, a couple of my brother friends and everybody else, they was all just trying to put like clusters of balloons inside of their car. Now I brought 30 balloons home in a small car from Party City later on that night. And then I was trying to get dressed for the party, then do my hair, then trying to be pretty, and then get to the party and decorate. Woo, child, talk about who's the birthday girl here. And I'm sitting here trying to decorate, trying to find an outfit, trying to get dressed, be pretty. I'm trying to, you know, entertain everybody. And I'm just super tired, super exhausted. Everybody was having fun, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we had bottles, we had um, dancers, we had hookah. We was well taken care of at Jamaican Lounge. So it was really good. Actually, I enjoyed it a lot. And like I said, I was very, very, very well taken care of. But it was just very stressful because I was trying to do everything by myself. And everybody's like, nobody's helping you. Like, I'm like, I'm asking y'all right now if you can help me. And it's like, people were just acting so dumb. So I'm just like... I guess if you want to get something done, you got to do it yourself, unfortunately. Such a freaking crazy night. I was so mad and disappointed, but then again, I was super excited. And like, I couldn't really express it like how I wanted to because people were like, oh, let's party, let's dance. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> like I was just trying to make sure everything was perfect. Everything was good, you know? So that was just pretty much it. Before we get into like cake and everything, let's go into the gifts that I did get. Or whatever so i just put it in this gift bag that i had got from my manager actually around christmas time i didn't get a lot of gifts i just got a couple of cards or whatever here and there and then some money you guys if you followed me on instagram you probably already seen me post up um about these cards so this one is actually from my co-worker at work she basically had bought me this card as you guys can see it's so pretty and it has like a three layer cake it says birthdays are for surrounding yourself with what you love and then on the inside it's green and it says to kiara and like i said you guys know my name is kiara but i call myself casey for youtube and yeah the laughter of family and friends the comfort of home and the beauty of a new day may you always be inspired by the things you love happy birthday happiness always wishing you a bright future lots of blessings and love you are a special young talented lady from lisa so thank you so much to my co-worker lisa i really appreciate that and she ended up giving me this vanilla gift card for 25 dollars. so i'm probably going to buy like some skincare like little curology or something like that like the little sample ones i might buy that or i might take myself out to eat and get me something i have a cousin on my grandfather's side which is my mother so my mother's side which is my mother's father um, he has a brother who has kids and it's just like kids down that generation and now I know we're like the second, third, fourth, fifth or whatever generation and they are like my fifth or sixth cousin or something, maybe like my third cousin, I don't know. But he ended up giving me this card. I'm just super excited. I have family that live here in Atlanta that I can connect with on my mother's side. So yes, he basically had bought me this really cute card. It was so cute and it's like on this little tassel. So it says sassy, classy, and badassy. And I was like, period, you already know that's me, okay? So on the inside also, and it's really cute. This was definitely the colors of my party. It was white and pink basically, but you know, with a hint of black in there. And it says, nobody does you like you do. Happy birthday, happy 29th cuz. And then it says from Andrew and Amber. So shout out to my family members that gave me this card. I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you guys so much. And thanks for showing your support and your love always. I really appreciate that. And he had cash at me because you know. My cousin, whom is a cat, he gave me some socks. Thank you so much, Mr. Cinnamon, okay. And then my auntie had gave me this little small gift and it is a necklace. So I absolutely love this a lot. And I was telling her that I actually had a necklace like this when I was in high school, when I went off to prom. I had um, wore this like little pink dress, but it was just really cute. So it reminded me of high school when she gave me this. And I can't believe high school was literally 10 years ago, you guys. 10 years ago last year, 
for me. So this is really cute. Shout out to my auntie for giving me that for my birthday. Thank you so much, auntie. Love you. So I bought cupcakes from Publix. And like I said, I bought 60 cupcakes. I literally had gave a box away to my aunt and then I kept the box for myself. But she ended up giving me all of the chocolate and I was like, I like the vanilla. I don't really like the chocolate like that, but I'll eat them, I guess. But chocolate is good, <laughs> but these were my cupcakes. So it was a light pink icing right here. Then I had a hot pink icing and they were all chocolate. And this box and the other box was vanilla. So actually I have like maybe two vanilla cupcakes in here. So I'm just gonna carefully take one out. As you guys can see, and we are gonna eat that together. We're gonna sing happy birthday. Ah! I have two cupcakes, one is for you guys and one is for me. We're gonna sing happy birthday to me. So one, a two, a one, two, three. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday Casey. Check me out, y'all. Happy birthday to me, happy 29th. Thank you guys for celebrating with me. I am super excited. Let's get your girl to 1,000 subscribers this month so that way we can turn up and keep celebrating. When I succeed, you guys are gonna succeed. I'm gonna do so many giveaways because you guys just support me so much and I really thank you guys for watching my videos always. Um, I might let you guys have the hot pink cupcake. I'm gonna eat this one. Let's get right into it. Cause you know, all 2021, we gonna have our cake and we gonna eat it too, okay? Cake fillings and like the cream, it just makes me feel so warm and tingly on the inside, so. Actually, here you go, cupcake. Here, take a bite. And now that they're thawed out, it looks so nice and pretty. And like, look, it has like some little sprinkles on there, like little clear sprinkles. Really cute. But now that it's thawed out, it tastes so much better because the icing was so hard and then the cupcake was hard too. So I didn't like that, but I'm gonna eat this one for you guys as well. And then after this week, y'all, I promise you, after this week, we gotta work out because Mm -mm. Now, I definitely did lose some weight trying to drink all the, the green smoothies and stuff. I'm going to go get some more again today, probably. But, mm-mm. You want to cook it? I'll take one. They're only chocolate. And then vanilla dip, it just fell over. The vanilla actually tastes better. Mm, I don't know this one. You want chocolate? Or? Don't worry. Let's grab one. Yeah, Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I had to share my cupcakes with my brother's friends that were walking past. But anyway, that cupcake is so sweet. The icing was a little bit bitter on the second one, but the first one was really good. I really enjoyed that one. So, oh, you guys, I also had this like cake tr. I bought it like two years ago for my birthday. And I was gonna put it on the cupcakes, but I didn't feel like doing all that because then I would have to wash it off and stuff. But check me out. I usually would wear a tiara myself. Um, I just didn't buy one this year because I was paying for so much for the party and everything. So I just didn't do that. All right, you guys. So this was pretty much the two piece outfit that I was wearing the whole video basically for this party. But I was going to wear this to my actual birthday party, but I was like, it just wasn't screaming. It's my birthday. So I was like, I mean, it's really cute. I love the luxe material and I love the color block that's going on. And it's very functional and it's super comfortable. So I did love it a lot. But like I said, for my birthday, I just wanted to wear a dress. So this is the dress that I did get. And I'll go ahead and try it on so you guys can see it a little bit later. Just a look, honey. It's just a look, period. Okay. But this is like a nice two-piece set that you can wear to the club if you want. I love the color block that they have going on. I love the gold, the black, and the pink. I thought it was a cute color combination, and I thought it was perfect to go with my theme that I had. I did have gold balloons as well, 
pink and white. I ended up pairing it with my handy dandy black shoes that I always wear, the clear toe ones that I got from Simi London. It's super stretchy and I did get it in a size large. I'm not for sure of the name of the store that I got this outfit from. It was just in the mall closer to me where I live. So I won't be able to link anything down below in the description box. But you guys, I just thought it was really cute and I wanted to show you guys the outfit. A disclaimer, I forgot to mention, I did get some cocoa butter cream all on my shirt and on my pants a little bit because like when I moisturized my whole body, like I said, I was pulling it right up over it. So I kind of got like some little stains here and there and hopefully they come out because it's just been there for like a couple of hours. So let's get right into the next one. All right, you guys. So this was my birthday outfit and you guys just imagine me trying to put up balloons, decorate, bring the cake in trying to get dressed, do my makeup, curl my hair, do all this craziness in this type of dress. Like, literally, the dress just kept rising as I'm walking, bending over, doing all this extra stuff. Girl, everything was hanging out, <laughs> okay? And then the back, um, so there's like some satin material under this uh, material and it kept like rising in the back i didn't get a chance to take no pictures in this dress at all and it was so freaking cute i got it from the store closest to my house at the mall like i said so i'm not sure exactly where um or what the name of the store was but it is this snake print sequence dress and it was super cute it's not really uncomfortable but like it's a little uncomfortable like back here but like i said i was running on adrenaline and i don't even remember like it was just too much going on and I wore this just like this. I didn't have no jacket when your girl was tripping like crazy. But I did love the little cutout sides here. But it's like cut out all the way to the back. As you guys can see, that's how the back was looking. It did have like this little nice slit right here on the side that made the dress super sexy, super cute and grown and sexy. You know, cause your girl was turning 29 and we was getting grown and sexy up in here, okay? Period. I love the deep V neckline, so that was really cute. And I did have a bra on, but right now I don't have one on. Gotta kind of adjust my girls up in here, but um, you can wear it with the bra or without the bra. I was preferring to tape my boobs, but I didn't have any boob tape. So I thought it was super cute. The only thing I did not like is my back fat. So like, <laughs> my back fat was literally like bulging out like right here. So that's why your girl gotta hit the gym. Honey, but other than that, the dress was super cute. I loved it. And look how it's just rising, rising, rising. Like, <laughs> so I was like, this dress is so short, but it's so cute. It was definitely screaming. It was my birthday. It wasn't as bright as I wanted it. I would prefer to have it in like gold or in pink. And you know what? Pink would have been even better or either silver, but they didn't have that. They only had this brown and black with this little clear sequins that they had going down the dress. So I thought it was really cute. I think I paid like $37 for the dress. And overall with taxes, it was like $40, $43. And the other one was actually $42 for the whole two piece. So the top was $16.99 and the bottom was $16.99. And I had bought some other things as well. And I had bought a mask and all that stuff to go with it. So I ended up spending about a good $80 for two outfits, basically, and only wearing one. So yeah, that was just pretty much this dress. And I want to show you guys the party dress in the sun and get the party started. Hey. You know, I'm gonna go take some pictures and you know, this is exactly how my night went when I was, uh, when I had my birthday party. So I was, <laughs> it was crazy. I had like decorations going and I was trying to like transport decorations. I was trying to get dressed, do my makeup, curl my hair. I wanted to look exactly like this that night, which I did, but my hair ended up sweating out so bad that it was like so frizzy and so bad. It was just crazy. So I just wanted to recreate the look so you guys can see it and then, you know, kind of celebrate my birthday with me on YouTube. So yay! Thanks for coming to my YouTube party. Ayo. Bless it. Bless it. Let me do a busted challenge. Y'all, I just absolutely love this dress. So let's get right back into the sit down. Alrighty, you guys. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching my YouTube video, and watching my channel, and helping me celebrate my birthday. Happy birthday to me again. I have so many great things coming 
out soon especially this year so you guys please stay tuned for that so just because i didn't release what i wanted to release at my birthday party don't mean it won't be released at all so it is going to be released this year for sure so i'm super excited about that thank you guys so 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 much for supporting your girl and for coming out and celebrating and eating some cake partying with your girl so i'm just super excited i'm very grateful and blessed to be seeing another birthday and to be living it up in my last year in my 20s this is my last year in my 20s you guys Ooh, so, so crazy so make sure you guys hit that like button comment down below and let me know what you guys think about my birthday party my celebration if you saw me on instagram what you thought about the party how did i do because i know i decorated everything by myself and it's like girl make sure you guys hit that subscribe button get your girl to 1000 subscribers let's do it this month head over to my instagram and follow me at miss casey m-s-k-a-y-s-i-e and head over to my tiktok follow me over there it's the same m-s-k-a-y-s-i-e and i'll see you guys in my next video happy birthday to all the aquariuses out there baby aquarius season let's get